I'm very excited to introduce my new book, DeFi and the Future of Finance, co-authored with Ashwin Ramachandran and Joey Santoro. This book is about an ongoing revolution in finance known as decentralized finance or DeFi. It is remarkable to me that our centralized financial system has not substantially changed over the past century. While there's digitization, we have the same banks, brokers, exchanges, insurance companies, and central monetary authorities. We argue that the current system is failing. Why does it cost 300 basis points every time a credit card is swiped? Why are savings rates zero or negative? Why are borrowing rates so high? Why is the transfer of money expensive, slow, and insecure? How is it possible in the age of the internet that it can take two days to transfer the ownership after buying shares in a company? Why, during the global financial crisis, did we have to bail out the very institutions that caused the crisis? And why are there 1.7 billion people in the world that are unbanked and many more underbanked? DeFi is an emerging disruption. In decentralized finance, we interact amongst peers via smart contracts. These algorithms do not carry the baggage of traditional finance. There are no layers of bureaucracy and back office staff. When peers interact, there's no middle person making a large spread or commission. Furthermore, decentralized apps are interoperable. For example, in centralized finance, it might take days to send money from your broker to your bank or vice versa. No such delay exists in DeFi. Finally, the current system is very opaque. We rely on government regulators to watch for trouble in our financial sector. And history suggests a dubious track record of monitoring. In DeFi, everything is transparent, a key characteristic of blockchain technology. This book is pitched to the millions of people that work or are interested in the area of finance and are curious and want to have a much better understanding of decentralized finance. Let me describe what we cover in the book. In the first part, we explore the origins of DeFi and take a broad historical perspective from the earliest barter economies to the present day. We then focus on the key infrastructure components blockchain, cryptocurrency, smart contracts, oracles, stablecoins, and decentralized applications, or dApps. We then target the specific problems that DeFi is designed to solve. Inefficiency, limited access, opacity, centralized control, and lack of interoperability. In the second part of the book, we examine DeFi primitives. Here we talk about transaction mechanics, fungible and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, custody, supply adjustment, incentive swaps, collateralized loans, and flash loans. This is followed by a detailed analysis of some of the leading protocols in the DeFi space in the third part. Our DeFi deep dive looks at credit and lending and features MakerDAO, Compound, and Aave. Decentralized exchange with an analysis of how protocols like Uniswap versions 2 and 3 work. Derivatives featuring yield protocol, DYDX and Synthetix. And tokenization with an analysis of the set protocol as well as wrapped Bitcoin. The final part of the book details the many risks that DeFi faces. Any analysis of a new technology must clearly gauge the risks and challenges. The topics include smart contract risk, governance risk, oracle risk, scaling risk, decentralized exchange or DEX risk, custodial risk, 
environmental risk, and regulatory risk. Let me also tell you what this book is not. This book does not teach you how to trade Bitcoin. This book is about understanding the foundation of a new financial system. It is a system of inclusion, of financial democracy, where all peers are treated equally. Importantly, the current wave of fintech largely uses the current centralized financial architecture. I believe that many of these firms are fleeting, and they, in turn, will be replaced by decentralized protocols. To be clear, I'm not talking about a renovation of our current financial system. I'm talking about a complete rebuild from the bottom up. These are early times. We're just now seeing the scaffolding of a new city. We're less than 1% into this historic transformation. It is a once in a generation opportunity to get in early. And our book is a good starting point. Do you want to be part of this revolution in finance? Or do you want to run the risk of being swept away by it?